What is a terrorist? Well, that depends on who you ask or what definition you refer to. Dehumanizing discourses and stereotypes about terrorists as dangerous Arabs has been powerfully reinforced and recycled through visual imagery and language in the media. In Hollywood films, Arabs are portrayed in a number of dehumanizing ways. They are portrayed as extremists, barbaric, evil, destructive, radical, savage, and threatening. These visual representations are used to vilify them. Popularity of these Hollywood films has reinforced a negative discourse on the Middle East and the Arabs that occupy those regions. Hollywood has portrayed the Middle Eastern culture as one that produces terror and fear. These stereotypes become recycled through and through from one popular film to the next. The visual imagery of the Eastern Other is formed in a way that elicits an ahistorical representation. These visual depictions work to shape modern society's collective perception while at the same time reproducing forms of symbolic power. He's a hero. He saved my life. Durka Allah, Muhammad Jihad. Anybody know of any terrorist attacks coming up soon? How is the representation of a terrorist in Hollywood films distinct from the representation of a terrorist in Western news media? Interestingly, they are one and the same. The symbolic effects of visual language in the media inform our ideas and beliefs about the construction of who a terrorist is. The recycled characteristics of Arabs perhaps take on more of a significant role when they are being engaged with in Western news media. Western news outlets such as CNN, NBC, and Fox News has been successful in constructing our concept of a terrorist. In George Bush's presidential address to Congress, he is sure to blame the other for the insecurity of the United States and uses that as a justification to go to war. Any threat to American freedom and national security paints the West as the savior and the East as the racialized other. Al-Qaeda is to terror what the Mafia is to crime. But its goal is not making money. Its goal is remaking the world and imposing its radical beliefs on people everywhere. The enemy of America is not our many Muslim friends. It is not our many Arab friends. Our enemy is a radical network of terrorists. The visual imagery you witness in the news work to tell you what the concept of a terrorist means, hence regulating the negative notions of Arabs as terrifying individuals who produce terror. So you're a terrorist? Yes. I am a terrorist. What kind of terrorist? A terrifying... terrorist. <laughs> The adjective terror is synonymous with the notions we've acquired from the media. The hegemonic symbolism of a terrorist in Western news media seeks to mold the beliefs and ideologies of those responsible for acts of violence, terror and destruction continually in the circuit of regulation and controlling how the viewer interprets reality. This is not a fair use of the media's power, by stereotyping and generalizing the actions of a whole demographic. Language and images act as a saturating idiom that prescribes stereotypical norms and works to influence a given audience. America, radical Islam is terrorizing the globe. ISIS or the Islamic State is attempting ethnic genocide in Iraq, trapping tens of thousands of innocent men, women, and children, all because they practice their faith in the way radical Islam disagrees with. There's a common denominator with these murderous thugs. They're Islamic, they're radical, they're extremists, and they're purely intolerant. It's time to wake up. Hall is a cultural theorist, but here we have altered his image in the same way that Hollywood films and Western news media represent a terrorist. These visual images take particular significant effect because they work to represent an idea of fear and criminality erasing any sympathy. Stuart Hall's theory of representation has allowed us to deconstruct the powerful cultural codes instigated by Hollywood films and Western news media as the standard of common critical belief. These cultural codes, as seen on Hall, such as a turban, headscarf, and gun, and beard, carries out its own work in shaping our collective perception on who a terrorist is. 